Hi, today we've got uh, PlayStation 3, um, the slim edition. Um, it's not reading any discs, Blu ray, DVD, CD. So um, we'll take it apart, see what's going on, and uh, if need be, we'll change out the, the laser. Okay. So you remove, there is some covers here, you remove these covers except for the one in the left bottom corner. The longer one here which is uh, the cover for the, the hard drive. Um, there's no need for the hard drive to come out. And in the front there are three torque screws that um, they, they, these are the Sony security screws. Um, just find a flat screwdriver that can sort of fit in. Lift in from the back. While you've got the machine open, it's a, a perfect time to make sure that your fan is all clean and the, the heat sink here is all clean because um, overheating is the leading cause of damage in these uh, game consoles. So, first we'll remove the, the power supply, screw on either side and a cable on either side. So there are two pins which connect to the bottom and to the underside of this power supply. So you just sort of gently ease it up. The pins will come out of there. Okay. Next, let's take out the this is the optical drive. Let's take this out, remove the cover, put a, a disc in and see what's going on. One screw at the back here. Um, remove this ribbon cable down here. Lift up the brown tab slowly. Just Okay, this cable you can just pull it out the way. Unclip the this cover here with the buttons. Just move that out the way. <clears throat> okay, so we have <clears throat> we have the drive. So we'll remove these top three screws here. These two bottom screws here as well. Okay, with the top cover off, this is loose. This is the magnetic magnet that holds the, the disc in place. Okay, so don't worry. Make sure when you're putting it back together that you don't turn this upside down and this doesn't end up not in its correct place, very important okay so let's just pop this back in here just want to have a look what's going on with the cover off see does this, we're going to see does the disc turn let's power it on and see what's happening with the disc So I don't know what I'll go into this one. The disc does not turn at all.
So this is most probably the laser. I bought it a new deck with a with a laser. So let's put that in and um, hopefully that fixes our problem. We need to remove other two screws on the bottom cover here. Okay, there are some cables to unplug here. One, two, three. This board is just held in with some plastic tabs. So just lift it up like that. And there is another cable underneath here which is connecting to the which is connected to the to the laser. You have to lift up the black uh, tab. Okay, so four screws on either corner of the rack. That's the old one. Remove the rubber grommets for the new rack. And exactly the opposite to put it back. Um, when ordering a new rack, a new laser, there's a sticker on the bottom here. So this is KEM-450 AAA. So this sticker here, this is the part number that you will order when you order your part to make sure that you get the right. Because um, these PlayStations do use different, uh, different types of lasers, Blu-ray and double laser and such. So with this part number, you will make sure that you get the correct part for your particular PS3. Okay, so let's put it in and uh, let's see if the disc spins. Some power. And there you go, the disc is spinning, and um, it shows us that that, uh, that new laser is working. So, put all your covers back on, and your PlayStation 3 is back in action. And there's always a fix.